I'm going to share with you 20 Canva tips and tricks to help you design professional looking graphics or visuals even though you're not a designer to help you elevate your brand and be noticed by your ideal clients. Welcome to my channel. I'm Lou. I'm a self-taught graphic designer and in this channel, I share easy to follow Canva and graphic design tips and tutorials for non-designers who wants to design their own graphics but end up spending hours in Canva which leads to feeling overwhelmed and not designing anything at all. If that's you, be sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Without further ado, here are the 20 Canva tips and tricks to help Help you design professional looking graphics in Canva. Number one, the Cappy Style Tool. Say you want to add a page to your Canva document, and let's say you want to add another template. Let's try this one. But you want all your pages to be cohesive, right? Like they look good together, they have the same colors, they have the same font, but Copying the color or font style individually is quite tedious. So my tip is to use the copy style tool. Say you want to copy the style of this text, like the font name and the exact size and color. All you have to do is click this element and click this paint icon. This is the copy style icon. Click that. Click the text that you wanted the style to be copied to. So see, it's like a magic wand. It copies automatically the same font, the same font, the same color, and the same font size. You can also do this with other elements such as shapes. So if you want to copy this color, click the copy style tool and click it to the other shape that you want it to be copied to. But what if you have a lot of pages? Using the copy style tool would be also tedious. So my next tip would be to click the element and say you want to change all of the headline of this document into a different font color or font style. All you have to do is click that element, change the font. Let's say, let's change this to Oswald. And then from all the fonts with the Playfair display will be changed to Oswald when you click change all. So all the font change across all your designs. So let's see. All of the Playfair display fonts are changed. So now let's try the color. If you want to change the color, um, let's say if you want to change this pale blue into maybe a blush pink or yellow so let's try um, let's try this color all you have to do is click change all that means all the elements with this exact pale blue color will be changed into this blush pink so let's click change all so all of the pale blue elements will be changed into blush pink so this is really helpful if you have a lot of pages. So it looks so cohesive, so compelling. Number three is grouping elements together so you have more control over elements in your design. All you have to do is drag your cursor over the elements you want to group, like these elements for example, and then click group from the toolbar. Or you can hit Command or Control G from your keyboard. Now you'll have more control moving these elements. If you want to a group, simply click Ungroup. Number four, aligning elements. Aligning elements is different from aligning text or text alignment. So aligning elements will help you create a clean and compelling look to your design like if you've noticed this design, this is quite disorganized. So to make this organized, let's first make sure that these elements are grouped. To make this look compelling, let's align all of this into center. All you have to do is drag your cursor over all these elements 
or hit Control or Command A in your keyboard and then click Position and let's align them center and then it will automatically be aligned into center but as you've noticed they are moved here so to really align them in the center select all of them and drag them in the center when you see this line in the center that means that it's properly aligned now if you want to space these three evenly click them select all of them click position and space evenly select vertically you can also actually let's copy this one paste it here let me show you another example let's undo this first so for example you want to add let's try adding text here you can align this by selecting them, click position, you can align them top, middle, or bottom. Let's try again. Let's make this bigger so you'll see the difference. Select them, click position, you can align them top. That means this text will be aligned at the top of this element. If you select middle, this will be aligned in the middle of the element and bottom of course this will be aligned at the bottom so this is very handy when you're creating bullet points or lists or checklists this is very handy number five is filtering templates and elements so you save a lot of time so let's say you're looking for minimal photo or minimalist photo and then click the photos tab so let's say you only want to search for vertical images all you have to do is click the filter icon click vertical or select vertical in the filter and then apply filters then the results will all just be vertical photos you can also select cutouts only so the cutouts are this you know photos without backgrounds you can also filter this by color so this is very helpful when you're just searching for your brand colors all you have to do is let's copy your brand color code and then paste it here click apply and apply filters and you will find photos with accents of your brand color so it will not be exactly like your brand colors but you know almost the same like this one it's close to this one so it would be easier for you to search for photos that aligns with your branding or brand's visual identity you can also apply filters to uh, elements or graphics so when you click graphics you have to be careful especially if you're using the free version of canva because i personally experienced using premium elements and downloading them even though i'm a free user so i i paid like i forgot but it's kind of expensive so you have to be careful and to do that i suggest um selecting filter and then um by the way to clear the filter all you have to do is clear all so it will be reset to default settings and then my advice is to click free so when apply this filter all the elements in the search results are all free so this is very helpful if you're using the free version of canva number six is using a brand kit having a brand kit will help you preset your brand's fonts colors and logo for a unified look across all your designs this is only available for canva pro users so i've worked with several brands and this is having a brand kit is really really helpful so all you have to do is click brand so to add a brand kit from the tool section select brand and then click add new and then brand kit so you name your brand kit so let's say Lou designs 2023 click create and then you can add your logo your fonts 
you can also upload your own font here provided that you're very aware of its license agreement and then you can add your color color palette here so every time you design so let's say you want to change this to your brand uh, brand fonts all you have to do is click the font open the font styles and in here you can change this to your brand kit it's the same with color so to change to your brand kit simply click this and choose your brand kit so it's very easy and so so handy you can also if you uploaded a logo you can easily find your logo here it's so so easy number seven i saw or heard a lot of people refer to this as secret brand codes but it's no secret at all <laughs> so if you want to find elements or photos that looks good together or so um, cohesive or consistent if they have a consistent style all you have to do is hover your mouse pointer in the photo that you like click this three dot icon and then click view more by miss berg Birgit or Bridget and then you will be redirected to that creator's page so all of the photos uploaded by this creator will be shown in the search results so you'll notice that they have the same style the same lighting you know it has the same vibes because it's from the same creator this is also applicable to elements simply hover your mouse pointer click the three dot icon and click view more by that creator and you can find all of the elements uploaded by this specific creator what's also great from here you can search a specific element that you like so the search results will only show all the elements with this concept or style from this creator only so this will filter out to the search results and make you find the elements that you're looking for or photos that you're looking for faster. Number eight is saving elements into folders. If you have the same style of elements that you use or reuse over and over for different designs my suggestion is to save that into a folder so for example i have this client who prefers me using line art elements for the quotes that i design for his instagram account so what i do is i search for line art elements and if ever you have a favorite or you have the elements that you like or resonates with what you're looking for simply hover your mouse pointer and click the three dot icon and then click add to folder if you haven't created a folder yet all you have to do is click your projects and scroll down to the very bottom and click create new and then name your folder now i already have created folder for line art so if you have an existing folder do the same process click the three dot icon add to folder and search for that folder the folder name for me is line art and then click that folder and click add to folder button so it's so easy and it's very handy when you're using or reusing elements with the same style over and over again for different designs so this is how you'll access the elements that you save in the folder so let's try designing a quote let's find that by clicking the projects folder and click folders or well, you can search for the certain folder or you can search here so let's search for line art Click folders and this will appear now you can easily access those elements that you save in a folder it's so super easy 
Number nine is searching for your uploaded files easily. For example, you have a lot of files that you upload in Canva, right? So there are times that you're searching for the same photo that you've already uploaded maybe last week or last month and it would be so hard to search for it from all of the files that you already uploaded so my tip is naming your file accordingly or with relevance so for example you upload your headshot of course you're using or using your headshot over and over again like for your bio page or if you collaborate with other creators or other business owners they will require you a headshot so having or naming the files will really come handy because when you name them accordingly like this one I have not named this accordingly so when I search for headshot it would be so hard to search for it here so all you have to do is name the file so if you already uploaded one over your mouse pointer over that photo click the three dot icon and click this pencil icon and let's rename this to Lou headshot you can also name your file properly before uploading this in Canva. I will rename this into a relevant file name, Instagram profile photo. And then when I upload this in Canva, it will be easy to search. Now that we know how to name our files properly, it will be easy to search for them here in the search bar. So let's find Instagram profile photo. Now it will only return few images from the search results. Now let's try headshot. You see it easily filters the search result which will help you find the file that you're looking for faster. Number 10, rulers and guides. It can be very difficult to align your elements in the same position on your Canva design. Good thing Canva provides horizontal and vertical rulers to help you align elements accurately. So all you have to do is click File, View Settings, Show Rulers and Guides. You will notice the ruler in this area and this area. So to align elements horizontally, simply hover your mouse pointer in the horizontal ruler and then drag that to the element or position that you like to be aligned into so let's say you want to align all your website here in the footer area so simply when you see the cursor change to this like two-headed arrow drag that below and then um, we want to make sure that this text here is aligned in this line guide so when you go to the next page you will still see this guide here that means you have to align this text or website link over here this is the same with the vertical ruler all you have to do is drag that and let's say you want all the text and images across all pages to be aligned here. So all you have to do is move that here, move that here. Now you have a guide so you can easily align elements across all pages. You will see that line. To remove the guide, simply drag them out of the canvas and they will be removed even for the other pages. Have you ever seen a Canva element in a template that you really, really like but wonder, how do I know the name of this element? Where do I find elements similar to this one? Well, it's simpler than you think. All you have to do is click the element that you like and click this little eye icon here. So when you over your mouse pointer here, you'll know that it says info. So when you click that, you'll know the name of that element so this is a russian abstract wireframe and then you can find different keywords related to this element so you'll also know that it's free when you click this you'll see that 
all Canva users get this image for free. Now, if this is exclusive for Canva Pro, what you'll see is it's uh, free for Canva Pro users or something like that. And what's great is you can also click, when you click view more by uh, name of the creator, you find elements, all of the elements, which is uploaded by that creator only. And you can also click these other keywords and also click see more like this to find elements similar to this one. Removing background in Canva works like magic, but what if you want to retain certain parts of your photo, like this couch, for example? Here's how to do this. Click your photo, click edit image, and click background remover. Now the background remover is only available for Canva Pro users. So the background remover tool will automatically detect the background from your photo and remove it. If you want to restore some parts of the photo that is removed by the background remover, all you have to do is click this button called restore. Tick the show original image checkbox to see the guide. And then brush over the areas that you want to be retained. You can adjust the size of the brush here. And you can also use the erase tool by clicking this erase button to erase some areas that you want to be removed. Once you're done, click done and click apply. Now some areas that you restored are finally back in your photo. Number 13, a Canva trick that will help you find colors that will go well with the photo in your designs. Add the photo to your canvas, click anywhere except the photo, add a text, open text color options, scroll down and find the photo colors. The photo color section is the color palette extracted from the photo you added in your canvas. So pick colors from this palette for your fonts, for your shapes, and other elements to achieve a cohesive design. When searching for visual inspiration for our design, we usually go to Pinterest or Google Image to look for it, right? But did you know there's a ton of inspiration from Canva? So from your home screen, click templates, pick any category. Let's try social media. Let's say Instagram post. And then scroll down below. You can find different inspiration from this different style. So you can check fun if you're looking for fun templates or fun designs so let's see minimal because i love minimal elements so you can you'll just have to pick the style that resonates with you here and you can filter this further by choosing a theme it could be for marketing for product a sale fashion so let's try fashion and you can also filter this by color you can pick from the existing colors here or you can paste your brand color hex code here. And when you find templates that you love here, all you have to do is hover your mouse pointer on that template's thumbnail and click the star icon. So this will bookmark the templates that you like. And once you're done searching for visual inspiration, you'll just have to open a new canvas or open your design and then in this area search for start and you will find the templates that you bookmark if you struggle to find the colors that resonates with your brand or you just want to learn about everything about colors canva has a tool for that go to canva.com colors and you'll have different resources to find the perfect color for your design. We have Color Palette Generator, 
you have to simply upload a photo or an image and Canva will generate a color palette for you. What's great about this is the palette has already named for the different colors. Canva also has color palette ideas where you can find different color palette inspiration and when you hover your mouse pointer you can find that there are names for these color palettes. You can also search for a specific color that you have in mind or a theme or a keyword. So let's find Lady Boss for example. Canva will generate color palette or which is related to that you can also search by color so let's try pink and you'll have a lot of options provided by canva what's great is when you click this you can find out more about this color palette when you click color wheel you can learn more about color theory and color combinations and a lot more so in here you'll just have to pick a color you can also paste your brand colors hex code here and then you can choose different types of color combination and Canva will generate the hex code you can create the graphic from this color combination and you can also export this palette and save it as PDF and finally color meanings you can read about the meaning of the colors here. So I've learned a lot from here. Like this one, it's burnt orange. I have no idea that there's a color for that. So yeah, you can like this one, for example, read more about champagne. There's a lot of information about this color. Canva, Canva is really amazing. Learn from Canva free courses. Go to canva.com slash design school there is a lot of courses available here from the courses tab click see all you can learn a lot from typography and layout creating a logo presentations graphic design basics social media mastery personal branding and a whole lot more plus there's a ton of tutorials too here so you'll navigate or you can design better in Canva. Number 17, the Canva Frames app. Usually when we want to add a frame to our design, we go to Elements and then Frames and we usually search for devices such as laptop or phones and then we add our image. But here is another way to do that faster. So add your photo, click edit image, and click frames. Click use to add the frames app, and click, you'll have a lot of options for frame here. Simply click the frame that you like, like this phone, there's tablet, there are also creative frames here. Once you're satisfied with the frame, click apply. Number 18, linking to internal Canva pages. If you're designing an ebook or a lead magnet with multiple pages and you have table of contents, then this trick or this tip will come in handy for you. So my advice is to make sure that you add page title for each of these pages. So for example, this is activity one. Let's say this is activity two and this is activity three. And then you can add a link to that page here in the table of contents. All you have to do is click the text Click the link icon and below the tab or below this title pages in this document, search for activity one. That's why it's so important to rename or to add a page title for each of the pages in your design. Do the same process and you can select all of this and click underline if you want to remove the underline so when you download this as pdf 
when you open that PDF file that you just downloaded, open table of contents, when you click this, it will be linked to the internal pages you linked it to. Number 19. Creative way to promote your offers, such as course, programs, or services. In Canva, search for device mockups. Make sure you select the templates tab and hit enter. You'll find a lot of e-learning bundles here to help you promote your course or program or your services creatively. This one's my favorite from my social designer. I love all of his templates. So simply customize the template and replace the photo from this frame with your own. And then you can modify the text. Last but not the least, number 20, a trick to make your elements pop. For example, I want to create a promotional post for my lead magnet. So I'll add a photo of the pages, some piece to the internal pages. To make these designs pop, what I'll do is I will click the image, click edit image, and select shadows. You can select drop shadow so when you do this it will add a shadow effect here but if you choose glow it will add a shadow effect around your image there's also a lot of options here there's curve there's page lift their angle or backdrop so let me just choose glow another option or alternative way to do this is in elements search for drop shadow click graphics and you can find a lot of shadows here be sure to use free elements when you're not a canva pro user let's try this I'm gonna adjust and add that to your image that's it if you find this video helpful i hope you share this with your friends if you want more videos like this be sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you'll be notified when i upload a new video happy designing thanks for watching